we want to evaluate the given expressions and then check with the graphing calculator. For our first example, we have x to the power of negative two. We want to evaluate this for x equals four. So performing the substitution, we would have four raised to the power of negative two. And now from here to simplify this, let's rewrite this with a positive exponent. To do this, let's create a fraction with a denominator of one. Now if we move four to the negative two to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So this is equal to one divided by four raised to the power of positive two. Well, four squared is equal to 16, so this simplifies to 1 16th. Checking on the calculator, we have four raised to the power of negative two. Enter. To convert this to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter, verifying our answer. Next we have two v raised to the power of negative three. We want to evaluate this for v equals negative three. So performing this substitution, we'd have two times the base of negative three raised to the power of negative three. So notice how here we have two to the first times negative three raised to the power of negative three. Let's rewrite this with positive exponents. We'll equate a fraction with a denominator of one. And now if we move negative three raised to the power of negative three, to the denominator, it'll change the sign of the exponent. So the two stays in the numerator, we'd have two divided by the base of negative three raised to the power of positive three. Well, negative three to the third is negative three times negative three times negative three, which is equal to negative 27. So we have two divided by negative 27. Notice our fraction is negative, so it's more common to write this as negative two twenty-sevenths. Let's check this. So we have two open parenthesis, negative three close parenthesis, raised to the power of negative three, enter, and then math, enter, enter. Again, verifying our answer. So our first two answers look good. Next we have three c raised to the power of negative two. Notice here the base is three c. So performing the substitution, we'd have in parentheses three times three raised to the power of negative two. Well, three times three is nine, so we'd have nine raised to the power of negative two. Writing this with a positive exponent, we can create a fraction with a denominator of one. We'll move nine to the power of negative two down to the denominator, which will change the sign of the exponent. This is equal to one over nine raised to the power of positive two, or nine squared. Nine times nine is equal to 81, so we have one over 81 for the value of our expression. Checking on the calculator, open parenthesis, three times three. All this is raised to the power of negative two. Enter, and math, enter, enter. Again, verifying our answer. For our last expression, we have three times two z raised to the power of negative two for z equals negative two. So we'd have three times two times negative two raised to the power of negative two. So notice inside the parentheses, we have two times negative two, which is negative four. So we have three times negative four raised to the power of negative two. Now let's rewrite this with positive exponents. So we'll first create a fraction with a denominator of one. If we move negative four raised to the power of negative two down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So this is equal to, the three stays in the numerator, so we have three divided by, our denominator is negative four raised to the power of positive two, or negative four squared. Well negative four times negative four is equal to 16, so this simplifies to 3 sixteenths. Let's go ahead and check this. So we have three, and then in parentheses we have two times negative two, and this is raised to the power of negative two. Enter, and math, enter, enter. Again, verifying your answer is correct. I hope you found this helpful.